guys, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a Jordan Woods inspired video. Um, this is just going to be a little bit about her makeup look in her recent interview, along with my unpopular opinion. Please note it does say unpopular opinion, meaning I'm not not absolutely right I'm not absolutely wrong and I'm not gonna say anything in this video that's gonna be hurtful to others and I don't want anyone to take it in a certain way this is just uh, I think some things we can learn from her situation as well as kind of try to re-implement her look cuz I'm gonna insert right here her face was beat and it was like a natural radiant kind of like it was just phenomenal I'm supposed to be watching an interview and everything they're talking about. I'm just looking at her face. So, if you guys are interested in seeing this video, stay tuned. We're going to get right into it. Okay, guys. So, I zoomed in a little bit just so you can see everything that's going on. Um, please bypass the reflection here. I just need a mirror next to me, as you guys know, is normal. So, I'm going to try to talk as we work. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that. But just bear with me. So, I'm going to go in first. Um, like I said, she had a very radiant, natural look. So, I'm going to be using more of a hydrating primer today. And this one is by e.l.f. And then, I'm also going to color correct, too. I'm using my L.A. Girl um, orange color corrector for the dark circles under my eyes and any other spots that I have on my face. So, um, I know you guys are like, Shay, get to the tea while we watch your makeup. I know. Um... Uh, as far as her situation, can I just say that I did not, and I feel so stupid, I did not know who Jordan Woods was before this whole thing came out. And I feel kind of bad because it's a shame you gotta try to learn someone throughout all the like, adversities and things that they're going through at the time. So I did not know who she was, and I kind of seen like the little thing pop up on my phone saying, you know, Kardashians and all this other stuff going on. And I was just like, alright, whatever, like, they always got some type of scandal. I mean, I like them, but it's always something with them. So I just kind of ignored it, but then, you know, I was, like, on Instagram, like, on the trending page, because, of course, I try to see what's, like, going on and stuff like that. And I just see, like, them bashing this girl on here, and I'm like, yo, what the heck is going on? Like, what is the real tea? So... I went on Red Talk Table on Facebook by Jada Pinkett because I know that's where she did her interview. And um, I went ahead and went there and I just watched the interview throughout. By the way, I'm going to, if I'm going fast, I'm just going to mention some of the products down below in the description box. But I'll try to just point out the major things like the foundation, the bronzer, things that really stood out to me in her look. So I'm going to go in with primer water. So, like I said, I didn't know who she was until, like, this whole thing came about. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Like, this girl got to go through, um, you know, I watched the video. She's talking about how her mom and her brothers can't go to school and, um, and go to the grocery store just because of all this stuff going on. So, I mean, I feel like as females, first of all, like, some of y'all was on there, not anyone specifically, but some people were just on there, like, saying crazy stuff. Like, y'all know, you you can't be like that. You don't know my situation. None of us were there. Like I said in the beginning of this video, my opinion doesn't even matter either. Because none of us were there at the time that this situation happened. And, um, I feel like us as women, see, I told you guys, I can't, like, talk and do my makeup. So let me just mention, I'm going to go in next. This is a little bit different than my usual makeup routine but I'm gonna go in with my light illusion um foundation by flower beauty I think this one brings a very natural dewy um just vibrant type look to my face like I said um you know us as women sometimes I feel like when situations like this happen we kind of get um we don't we don't remember who to blame not that anyone should be the blame but we kind of forget that like there's a man involved and he never takes the heat for stuff like this and I feel like that's stupid um as us as women not to be all like feminist and whatever but I feel like we all should kind of try to stick together and I'm actually going to be doing a whole nother coffee talk on something similar to this soon but I just feel like this looks super yellow on camera wow this foundation doesn't look Maybe I just gotta blend some more. I just don't like this in person. I'm like, ugh. Alright, but I feel like us as women, anytime stuff like this happens, 
we just go ahead and we like blame each other and we get into arguments and it's just like not good but instead we need to be blaming these men because half the time they be the ones that's doing this stuff like I honestly feel like Tristan didn't get you ain't heard nothing from that man like you ain't seen him on social media you didn't hear him saying anything about the situation he kind of chill it in the background like okay Jordan take this heat and I'm gonna send you a check in the mail baby girl not saying that that's true like I told you guys these aren't facts I'm just saying but that's kind of how I feel like he's not even saying anything and I understand she has a relationship with these people and maybe she should have been a little bit more mindful um with the whole story going on I know I'm kind of talking and not really saying what happened um if you guys want to see the video I can include a link below but I just feel like the only way place I kind of see where she was wrong and where would any of us not be wrong um, is when she basically said she talked to Chloe after that day that it happened and Chloe's kind of asking her like who was there and was Tristan doing anything with girls and all this other stuff and she did like tell her nah he wasn't doing nothing and told her about the party but she failed to really say something to her in regards to you know sis this is what happened look I'm just telling you because I don't want you to feel like you know I'm keeping stuff from you and I know you guys might be might not be together but this is what it is so um I think that's the only place where I kind of seen that she could have been a little bit more honest well she could have been honest period and just let let your girl know like this is what happened and I didn't have any ill intentions and I'm just telling you because I don't want you to hear it from somebody else and I think that's the biggest place where she made the biggest mistake um the Kardashians were just being very like from stuff I seen that they were posting and stuff that's your homie that's your friend that people make mistakes but you don't gotta like throw her under the bus and say all this crazy stuff like it really just shocked me I mean I don't know why it shocked me because they've done stuff like this before but even them being a, cla a group of women like they've all been through similar situations so I don't know why they even thought like it was okay to just be like that so um that's kind of how that situation is like uh, like it's tough um, I feel bad for Jordan and people are probably going to bash me for saying that but in the end I do feel bad for her and I don't think it should be to the point where like she can't walk out her house and her family can't even function because people are so upset and like even on Chloe's part like I'm as I said we are women we got to lift each other up but this man did this how many times to you like why you you can't be over here blaming her saying she broke up your family she didn't break up your family your family was broken up a while ago and for you to try to put that blame on somebody else I just don't feel it's right especially if it's somebody that's close to you so next guys I am like I said I'm doing my makeup kind of backwards when I do a quick look especially a natural face I do foundation all over I use my foundation to kind of prime my lids and I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia soft glam um, I just see some really pretty like neutral colors that she kind of had on her eyes I'm gonna go in with that and then um, I usually do my con concealer after that to kind of sweep up any um, fallout and then I go in with the rest of my face so natural looks this is how it's a little bit different for me so um yeah, like I was saying, like, I mean, I just feel people, like, I was telling my friend that the other day, and she's like, how can you feel sorry for somebody that is a homewrecker? Sis. A homewrecker? What home was there to be wrecked in the first place? From my understanding, they were already having problems. So I don't see how people can even say stuff like that about Jordan. Like, y'all don't know the situation. Y'all wasn't there. So, like, all these unnecessary comments just gotta go. I was actually so happy that Jada, I didn't know Jada and Will knew this girl. Like I said, I didn't know her until this whole thing happened and I felt really bad. But I'm so glad that she opened up the table to her and kind of just let her talk and share her story. Because that's a lot of times the reason these problems happen because, number one, we can't even hear everybody's story because everybody else just adding their own two cents to it. Like, I feel like I sympathize with this the most because I've been in this situation before. Not exactly... Um, I won't go into too many crazy details because that's for another time, but I think that's why I kind of feel like I have sympathy for her 
not sympathy, but like, I know she did something wrong, but I understand where she coming from, and she did try to handle it after she made a mistake as a woman. So some people just gotta, you know, own up and say, all right, she's coming to me, um, she's being grown about it, we're close, let's try to work this out, and let's, like, check this, check this man about his actions and figure out why he thought that was okay, too. But then there's a whole other thing about, oh, they not together, so why is it wrong? Look. Point blank period. I think everybody had a part in the situation and it just needs to, you know, it's no sense in bashing and bullying anybody to the point where their family can't even walk outside. You need to just, um, check him and then move about your happy way. And that's how I feel about it. Like, it just annoys me that we kind of as women get this way like I didn't even know from my own situations like why are we not checking the man like why are we not saying anything to him why are we just thinking it's okay to like come at each other and tear each other down and tear each other's self-esteem and things down by the way guys I'm gonna go in with like a light shade right on the lid after I use this darker shade kind of as like a she did like a natural kind of color on the lid after she had some like a darker color in the crease so um, that's kind of what I'm aiming for right now and I'm using the color burnt orange for that in this palette but that's just the way I feel like we can do so much as women tearing down we actually tear down ourselves and each other more than the male population does and our words probably hurt more too so I just I don't like that's something I've always never understood Especially when I'm like dealing with situations like this, like the whole come to me as a woman thing, we're going to do a whole video on that because I just think that's like something that people need to be aware of. And I know us as females, we think we're our emotions and like these men, we might have kids with them, we might be uh, married or previously married to them. There's a lot of things in that state, but also when situations like this happen, like in their case, um... Jordan did owe some loyalty to um, Chloe. Like, they had a relationship that was actually a close relationship between each other. Because that's another thing you got to talk about. People sometimes be like, oh, my sister cousin's best friend's mom used to date him. Do I know your sister cousin's best friend's mom? Do we have a close relationship? Okay, then, like, why is that a big, like, I'm going to stop rambling because that's just a whole nother thing I can talk about, y'all. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. It's just something that I feel like could have been handled in a different way on both of their parts. So, the eyes look pretty cute. Alright, guys, um, so pause a little bit for my rambling. Let's talk about some of the makeup here. I'm actually done my eyeshadow. Like I said, she had like a neutral kind of base type look, but it was matte. She also has lashes, which I did not know. Um, she teamed up with Eyelore, and I don't know if you guys can really see it. She teamed up with Eyelore to make these eyelashes, and I'm going to try them out today. Um, I got the style Beach Please, and um, we're going to see how they look. I also wanted to mention I did do my brows off camera and guys her brows put me up for a run for my money like her brows is snatched whoever thread micro whatever they do to her brows I need their contact information because her brows look so good um all right guys I'm gonna try to put these lashes on while I'm on camera I just dropped some of the packaging but if this clip is taken out, it's because it took me too long and I don't want to put you guys through that torture. Alright guys, I'm back. So I wasn't ready for you guys to see the struggle of me trying to put my lashes on. But these lashes are so cute. They're um, like very natural looking. Like I would literally wear these on an everyday basis. They're so just nice and lightweight on the eyes, but they look so natural. Like if I didn't feel like putting on mascara, these would probably be a good go-to. So um, I'm going to go in next with my Adrian Wine instant concealer this concealer is very good for like a natural look so that's why i picked this one out today oh i forget you always have to click click this up so what i was saying while i was putting my lashes on that i kind of have to repeat is i just it's just a shame to me that i feel like us as females 
we always see people talking about, which me, myself also, how we only have like five friends and it's quality and not quantity. But I think we lose out on a lot of friendships related to not even beef, but like the situations we have with like the males, like the male population and just some of the stuff they be doing. And like, I know men are young. They're not going to learn until they're ready to learn. Like a man's not going to settle down until he's ready to settle down. Things like that. And society kind of puts that as their excuse. But it's not an excuse. Like y'all just be going around doing the most. I mean some females do too. But y'all go around doing the most. And y'all don't realize that you're not only tearing down um, one female. You're tearing down two. And also you're just like... I don't know guys it just baffles me that um I know it's like a phase supposedly for men but I don't think it's right and I don't think it's I don't see how they have the guts and the heart to do it because I feel like if I drop somebody's stuff on the floor or even something small like that I feel guilty so I don't see how you know men just think it's okay um I am gonna try to bake today because she did bake I could tell in her pictures and her bronze was cut clear all right guys i got some favor from the sun next to me because this was just looking really super yellow and it doesn't look yellow in person so i was thinking maybe i just needed some lighting um so natural lighting going on but like i was saying that's why i always feel bad like we lose out on a lot of friendships due to like silly stuff like that and it's just a shame because mainly it's due to like bickering over males and things like that when in reality we don't need to go through that so it's just kind of I'm just hoping that maybe especially because her and Kylie were like best friends and I like went on both of their pages because I'm like weird like that and I just went and I kind of looked and seen like the type of relationship those two had and I just really hope that this all kind of like blows over and they come to a mutual understanding, even her and the family, because it's just sad. So I hope they all kind of like come to some type of understanding and put it in the past and kind of just say this is a lesson for next time and move on. Because relationships and friendships like that should not be thrown away. Okay guys, so I did bake. I'm using the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I think this is in the color Warm Saffron, I believe it's called. My camera it just don't be wanting to focus, but I'm using that. I'm baking for a little bit because she were, she were, she was a little, you know, baked and everything. So I'm baking a little bit. You know what? I think I gotta put some of my um forehead and chin too because it does look like she did had kind of like a. But like I was saying, I really just hope that they, they can rekindle their friendship and they can put this behind us. Tristan, like, bro, are you going to say anything? <laughs> He's probably like, no, I'm, I'm chilling in the car. Like, I ain't going to say it. I'm done. So, I don't know, guys. I hope it's just a lesson for us all to learn. Like, us as females, um, we don't ask for some of this stuff. Like, she didn't ask for him to kiss her, as the story is told. But it happens. But I think the biggest thing you can kind of learn when it comes to relationships and friendships on both ends is to be truthful and to be understanding. Um, especially when it's a long relationship you've had for a while. Like I said before, we always put blame on each other as women. But we fail to like make sure these guys know like y'all be doing us wrong. And you can't keep doing that. So I'm hoping... I'll hear or see some pics on Instagram of them getting it together. Um, it's just sad, I think. But we all go through it. It's not even only Jordan. And that's the one thing I just wanted to let her know. Like, I don't know if it's weird that I commented on one of her pictures. But I was just like, we all go through this as women. Regardless of which side you're on. Especially, and like I said this before, the Kardashians have been on both sides. So I don't know why they acting like that. But, um... You just have to learn what to do next time, how to apologize, how to be respectful, and just pretty much move on from it. Alright guys, we're getting down to the end of this makeup routine. So I'm just going to go and do blush. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette, and I have Hot Spice.
and then the part that I think was very significant was her bronzer so I'm using Anastasia powder bronzer and mahogany um, this is a very good shade for my skin color so you guys will see right there it looks a little bit lighter on camera but it's actually um, pretty dark and it's perfect to be a bronzer and not a contour because sometimes I look at some bronzers and I'm like I ain't trying to contour so you know um, yeah but we'll go in this with this real fast but we've all been in her shoes I think there's lessons to be learned I really hope that they rekindle this um, friendship and I hope that they understand that, um, like, honesty and truthfulness is basically the things that are going to get you through and help you have actual effective relationships. And for all these people out here, like, y'all that be commenting on her stuff and comment even on the Kardashian stuff, stop instigating and stop being extra. It's not your situation. We all have our own situations. Like, mind your business. Like, what's going on in your life that's not right? Before you come knocking on somebody else's door trying to be all extra. Like, I think that's just so... Like, the thing that made me mad the most was when she said her mom can't go to the grocery store. Because I think I said this wrong before. Her mom couldn't go to the grocery store. And her sister couldn't go to school. There is no reason why that situation should cause that type of like reaction like i don't care what nobody say humans need to do better like all of us like we need to first sit back and reflect on ourselves and then we need to understand that we are treating other people some type of way and she did say in the video like thank god her mental health is intact because if not she probably would have took her life and i think she said something along those lines and i can't get mad at her for saying that and it's not pulling the sympathy card it's facts i feel the same way if i was targeted like that like what else can you do if your mental state is not in mind yeah i would be checking out of here too because that's just not right but of course i do have to say if you ever go through a situation like that Find somebody to talk to like she did at Red Table Talk. It'll be people that understand where you're coming from. Don't. That's not the answer. And I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying I can understand where people come from when they say stuff like that. Because I look at the comments and it's hurtful to me. And I'm not even going through the situation. So I just spaz real quick. I'm sorry. But it's just people don't understand like words hurt and if it's not even your situation or you don't know what happened why are you combat like just leave that alone like come on so i'm gonna take our oldie but a goodie laura geller um gilded honey i needed something that was more like a natural type of highlight i don't think she had on much highlight but i always had to do a highlight Alright guys, let's end this thing. So I'm going to go in with a little setting powder. I'm using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This stuff is bae. And I do have to shout out the Equate Powder Brush. I don't know what Walmart did to this brush, but I need to go back and find like three more because I love it. Um, I am going to go in real quick with a little bit of gloss. I have on um, chapstick right now. So I'm just going to go with a brown lip liner. And then I have a flower, a flower beauty gloss in the shade Angelic. And this is super cute. And it's like a little nudie. Alright guys, last but not least, we're going to set the face. Um, like I said, this is kind of a natural look. And she looks so radiant, so I think I'm going to use my e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. Um, I'm super oily, so I'll cry later. But this is something that her face kind of like radiated, so. Oh, that spritzer. Dang. It smells like coconut, but the spritzer was like giving me a bath. Okay, guys, so I'm back. The look is finally finished. I'm actually shocked. I didn't really know if I was going to hit this pretty well. Um, this was my first time trying this look, and it actually came out pretty decent. So I'm going to insert a clip of her right here. <laughs> 
So, yeah, not too bad. Um, I will definitely list all the products that I use down below. This makeup look, despite the video, only takes about 10 minutes. And I did use um, a good mixture of drugstore and high-end products, so it's definitely achievable at home. Um, once again, like I said, the biggest thing we can definitely take from this video is just learning how to be adults, learning how to be understanding, and learning how to be truthful with each other. Um, like I said, I don't think either party was more wrong than the other, but I just really hope that they can kind of rekindle the relationship they had before because based off what I've seen now looks can be different than what is really going on but it looks like they really had a good relationship going between her and family especially her and Kylie and I hate when like situations like this break up good friendships so I'm really hoping that they'll be able to you know get that together but anywho I want to thank you guys again for tuning into my channel if you're not already subscribed Hit the button down below. You can turn the bell on for notifications. And I'll be back with you guys next week with the updated video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.